they say the Food Network is actually the most, it's the number one place people turn to when they can't find anything on TV because they'll learn something. And season eight of the Food Network star, Marty Duncan. <laughs> I, I mean, because you already are a star. I mean, the runner up, you're, you're everywhere already. We get to learn how to make Marty's parties. That's right. You know, uh, God, Food Network Star was just great for visibility. It was such a great experience. I mean, it was like going to boot camp in certain ways. Right. Oh, yeah. So How did the whole thing begin from start to finish? Okay. Like, did you write in? Did they contact you? How did you, how did the whole thing happen? I uh, was on foodnetwork.com one night looking for something because somebody told me a guy I know had gotten a show on Food Network. And I thought, well, that guy doesn't even cook. <laughs> Why should we have a show on Food Network? I was incensed. So I'm like, I'm going to get a show on Food Network, dadgummit. Okay. So I went and looked on the website, and I saw casting Food Network. It's like God told me to do it. Casting Food Network wow. Star Season 8 tomorrow in Chicago. This was midnight. And where you were just you? Got in Alabama. Alabama. You just got up I got in my car, and I drove myself to Chicago. Luckily, I lived in Chicago for 10 years, so I knew my, I felt very comfortable just to show up. And I really ran in the door wow. like one hour before the audition was over. That is incredible. That is such a lesson on, wow, the universe gives you a little nudge and she followed it. So many times we feel like, oh, I got that little feeling and then I put it away. You yeah, followed you, it. Oprah says you should always listen to that thing and I try to. <laughs> you if it says go, I you try to go. How long was the drive from Alabama? Oh, 10 hours. 10 hours, that's incredible. I drove in the middle of the night. Did you think it turned around? It was raining. <laughs> Um, it was like there were things flying through the air, not cows, but almost like big, you know, those things that blink when you go too fast in the speed limit. So one would go flying past my car. Um, uh, yes, it was crazy, but to get there in time, because they said as long as you get there by 2 o'clock, we'll see you. I really walked in the door like 20 to 2. Now, they're looking at culinary skills, as, but they're looking for personality. They're let's let's for be honest. Well, okay, so Bobby Flay and Alton Brown sort of had a difference of opinion about that. Bobby Flay said, I want chefs. If I get good chefs, I can teach them television. Alton said, I want storytellers. Yeah. I want good cooks who are storytellers because I think it's important for people to connect mm -hmm. the stories and the food. So Alton must have had it right because on our season, two from Alton's team made it to the final four and I was one of the two. Isn't that amazing? And the other one won the show. I think that's true. When we're watching TV, uh, you need someone. I mean, a lot of people are excellent chefs, but if they can't teach us how to do it or we can't connect to them. Connect. Yeah, that's, you got you to gotta connect. Right. You got to feel like, okay, and that's what Marty's Party is all about because you're kind of the girl that like, even though he and I totally can't cook the way you can, we might feel like we could by watching you. Trust me when I tell you, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. Anything I can do, you can do. And if uh, it, it's just, I think people, honestly, I love Martha Stewart. I think she's great. But I do think she's given people sort of an intimidation or a fear of entertaining at home. No, that's a and good point. I want to tell people it doesn't have to be mm. big. It doesn't have to be fussy. You don't have to get special things. If you do, fine. You don't have to. Right. The food just needs to be good. And I, this is something I learned from Ina Garden from Food Network, the Barefoot Contestant. Yeah, I love her. She always says, and I have done this for years, make what you know and get the rest. Make one great thing. Make just one thing and so get so the rest. That's so liberating because I actually do feel that way. You know, yeah, you make good like, rice. Uh, thank you. <laughs> hey, I like rice, especially when it's on top of some gumbo. No, you know what? That's why I think I don't mind like having people over for brunch because I really know how to make pancakes and eggs. But like, Perfect. a dinner scares me. Okay, you can have pancakes and eggs for dinner. There's no reason you can't. <laughs> See, My mom used to make a Sunday supper all the time. Was pancake supper? It was one of our favorite things to look forward to. So, but if that's your best thing, why does it have to just be for breakfast or brunch? Right. Why can't it be pancake supper? Now, okay. Your life has changed. I, I can only imagine how much your life has changed since well first of all I gained 26 pounds <laughs> <laughs> so okay so I am the ambassador for state of Alabama Department of Tourism and I am an advocate for our beaches our what I call our dishes and our destinations so I'm educating the world about all the beautiful food and all the beautiful tourist spots we have across Alabama but I just did a two-week campaign for the Alabama restaurant that week I visited 80 restaurants oh in two God. weeks I ate 256 things <laughs> And I have the pounds and the pictures to prove it. What, so, what was the best? Do you remember? Oh, yes, I do. I do remember very distinctly. As much as I love Gulf Seafood, the most delicious thing I ate was a crispy pork cheek at a brand new restaurant down at the coast called Fisher's. And, um, oh my goodness, this, this guy that the chef there comes, I know, is so starting yummy. To I, I know, got a picture just, of it, I'll show you. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah. Crispy pork yeah, cheek. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's safe. It's
screensaver. <laughs> I'll show you. Crispy. Anyway, Chris, yes. I, oh, I was taking pictures back in the back. Sorry. Right. Anyway, yeah, crispy pork okay. cheek, the most delicious thing ever. But, I mean, 256 dishes, yes, I gained a few LBs. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. one way, but I've been everywhere. 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 And you're going to tell us more, because coming back, you're going to show us, Marty's Party's yeah, yeah. You're going to show us how we can have a party and how we can cook simple things like a chili cook-off. This is great. You make people think that they're coming for a party, and they bring the food. I like it. Even better. And I see a crock pot over there. Give me a... Give me, uh, how to, no. <laughs> Give me a crock pot. Okay, Marty's, Marty Knows Parties. It's actually MartyKnowsParties.com. Uh, right. We were speaking with you earlier. Season 8 runner-up to Food Network star. But, yo, you know that I didn't have any culinary training. I've never had a culinary class. I've never been to school. I've never even worked in a restaurant. You're kidding. No. You just I, know how to make things. I got my Girl Scout Merit badge when I was, like, 8 for cooking. And I that was about too. the only class. And I got the same one. <laughs> I still have mine. I was in the daisies, and then I got uh, My nice mom year. was a great cook and I learned from her. Yeah. You know, this is this is a really great idea because I love crock pots. I feel like you can't go wrong with a crock pot. Yeah, there's not, nothing hands on. Queen but you're saying pot. host a chili cook off and kind of you can either do it yourself or you ask people bring your own chili. It, it, you know what? It's like barbecue where I come from. Everybody's got a barbecue sauce that they're proud of yeah. or, a, or maybe a fried chicken recipe they're proud of. Everybody's got a chili recipe that they're particularly proud of and they think is the best. Mm -hmm. So one year I told us a bunch of friends, yeah, put your money where your mouth is, come over, bring your chili, I bring my chili. And it was so much fun that yeah. it became an annual event. That's really cool. And I did this for years and years and years when I lived in Chicago, and everybody looked forward to it. When are we going to have a chili cook-off? When are we going to have a chili cook-off? And everyone loves chili. bragging rights. Yeah. The yearly bragging rights. And there was a trophy that we passed down year to year to year. Yeah. And everybody got to take it home, made it as ugly as possible, so <laughs> that it would be stuck in your house for a year. That's awesome. And so I've got one over there, as you can kind of see. Oh, my god. But, yeah, isn't that funny? No, no, that big... Oh. Ugly spoon. Put the spoon. <laughs> and you put the winners' names and the years and everything that they won on there. And put your neighborhood or whatever. Isn't and I love fabulous. how you just use, you you say just use what you have. Do use, not worry about fuss. You know what? A lot of this stuff would be stuff I had at my house because I came from Manhattan. I obviously didn't have a lot of this, but I didn't have what perfectly what I would need. I just made do. I forgot the cup. So when I tailgate, a lot of times I'll go and just keep the stuff from the Starbucks because it's this. recyclable and She's so it's great. She is the Starbucks cup. Yeah, for yeah. Condiments. Is so that that? Isn't that great? So basically, <laughs> you, what you want to remember is it, cold things need to be kept cold. The one thing that I, I work with the USDA on their Food Safe Families campaign. And if somebody wants more information, this we're coming into holiday entertaining season. Yeah. I want people to stay food safe. More people get sick and even die from food poisoning oh here than you can even imagine. Look so what we she did. But so yeah, put a little ice in a cup like that's that. That's it. That but, was you her. Know, and that was, but the two hour rule is in effect. Anything over two hours has to be tossed out. You can't. Do you you ever, just can't. Do you ever eat anything off the floor? <laughs> Okay, Just come thank on. you. She's with me. Yes, right. I mean, I, I, no, I never have. <laughs> I would never do that. Is um, this your chili recipe? This is my chili recipe, but everybody has one, so ask your guests to bring their chili in their crock pot. That way, you don't really have to do any cooking, but supply some condiments. So I've done a topping bar, and so that's what the host does. She provides her own chili, some awards, some toppings, and then, and then a few little decorations. Like, let's say this weekend is getting ready for Halloween, right? Yeah. Change out the game day, get rid of the pom-poms, get rid of the football, and you know, here, throw out some candy. And, and a pumpkin or two, <laughs> and then, yeah, voila, you got Halloween, so there you go. <laughs> this is a no fuss, no fuss. I am all about easy. But seriously, it would have been a great, you said it's last minute, a lot yeah. of people were staying up late watching the Red Sox on Saturday, yeah. making the World Series, you could have done that. It's a football pumpkin. A football pumpkin. A, football pumpkin. a dual duty it. pumpkin. I yeah. So anyway, I just feel like you should use what you have and just have a good time. And I want parties to be fun, affordable, and let's do parties. People are afraid to. And you are a party in a box, Marty. All right, so you. you gotta know this. You don't even have to have something to serve the chili in. Look at this. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, so start your little condiment bar. So you, I you like eat the chili in the Fritos bag? You remember when my mom used to make Frito pie? Did your mother? Sonic used to have it. I don't think they have it anymore. I love it. So you just, you gotta have a little napkin to hold that with because the chili can be super hot. But this is my chipotle chili. It's a, it's a really easy, beautiful recipe. Oh, my but anyway, puts it in the Fritos bag. Put it bag. in the Fritos bag. And that's and it. And then I add my toppings. I might want some cheese, sour Good to cream. Go. Marty, thank we'll you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. This Food is awesome. Foodsafety.gov for more tips day. on how to stay food.